Hi guys, this is Soro. In this video, we will learn how to create monkey climber game in MIT Apple Inventor. So, we are creating here a multiplayer game, and this one is offline game. Okay, so here we see the example first. So here you can see that's our game here, right? A start game. Here you can see that one start game button. Now, whenever someone click on this game button, so this will display second screen. It means this one layout, and here we'll find the row here two and here we find the two monkeys okay so they are racing to for reaching this age right so this one is multiplayer game where we define your two buttons so we can play as a two member this one is offline game right so let me just click on i am a one player first player so let me just click on jump button right and you will find score is 50 this value is a random value from 1 to 80 we are getting the value from 1 to 80 as a random number right so just click on jump to and you will find 47 right and this will jump uh, by 47 click on jump one click on then jump to and you can see here whenever i click on jump to so i can't click on again on jump to this button is disabled right now okay like this you cannot click on this button you have to click on jump one to enable jump to like this right so just click again 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 to again 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 here you can see game over and monkey one is winner and you will find restart button also right so you can restart your game to play again that's very easy game right to create we are using your mit inventor to create this game okay so in the first part we will create the design of this game three uh, three layouts game over start game and game design and in the second part it means tomorrow we will learn how we can code for this game okay so here we go so we are using your mit app inventor to create this app so click on start new project and type your app name monkey clamp click on ok that's my app name you can change app name according to your requirement fine now you can see that's our first screen of our app okay now we need here one layout first click on layout option and here you can see the option of vertical arrangement just drag and drop this layout here and make this fill parent and make this hide and with this fill parent that one is our first screen okay now I'm going to drag and drop here one image or one button. So let's uh, one button and change this name to star game like this. Now click on vertical alignment and make this align center, horizontal also center. Click on this button and change this font size to 30 and make this background is none. And now click on vertical alignment and make click on image option click on upload file now let's search some file forest okay so let's search some image like uh, this one yeah this one is looking pretty good okay so I'm using this image as a front image of my game okay so I'm using here low resolution image okay and now upload this file here click on ok now here you can see that's our image click on start game and make this uh, actually background should be something like green or something like this yeah you can change your background uh, background okay so I'm going to make it like this should be look like jungle right so that's why I'm using here this one color fine that's look great now now whenever someone click on this start game then we will display our first game screen okay go to the block uh, no wait uh, let's click on vertical arrangement make it visible off fine now let's create one more layout to display our game so we are using here horizontal arrangement okay make sure this should be also fill parent and with this fill parent like this now here we need one canvas so in the left side you will find drawing animation and drag and drop here canvas like this and make this height fill parent with this fill parent 
Now we need to drag and drop here two image spread, image spread one and image spread two, like this. Now here I already have one PNG files. Okay, so let me show you. Just click on this image spread and click on this picture option. Click on upload file. Click on choose file. Right. So I will give you the all assets in the description. Okay. So let me just uh, open this row. Okay, and here you can see it, it's look uh, actually it's too big. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make this width is uh, around fill parent and make this height is also fill parent. Okay, now I'm going to delete this image split two. Okay, and click on image split one. If this one is not working, it's not look good right now, right? So I'm going to make this height is some in a some pixel. Like let's make it three hundred. Okay, and width pixel is 200. Let's see how it's look. Yeah, it's look pretty cool, right? Now I'm to make this height is more something like uh, make it 550. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Now fine, right? Now just click on this Control C and Control V, and drag and drop it here, like this. Great. Now you can see is two row right now we need here two monkeys also okay now control that where this yes this one image now here we need two monkeys now let me just change the background color of this canvas first and now click on this canvas option and make this background image something should be look like a jungle right so choose file and uh, i already have that one image it's look a forest image and let me show you that one image right yeah it's pretty good now okay let me uh yeah that's fine let me just drag and drop one two more image spread because we need here two monkeys right just drag and drop this one and second one click on this image spread four and make this also pixel to something hundred and make it height is also hundred let me just check how this monkey will look in this hundred picture okay click on picture click on upload file you click on choose file i already have that one monkey file click on okay and wait some seconds and how it's look yeah it's look pretty cool right but it's too big yeah not not too big okay now let me just do it again for the 100 pixel and make it with this 100 pixel okay and click on picture and here you can see this one monkey image both monkeys are looking fine yeah you can change uh, both monkeys image also right that really doesn't matter now here when we need one more thing that one is layout layout for what for pressing the button okay for the score so let me just click on layout and make sure here there should be a horizontal arrangement here okay and make this with this fill parent like this and make this height is 10 percent yeah it's look fine now let me just click on user interface and make sure there should one button and there is one more button fine now drag and drop label between two buttons click on button one and make sure this should be like a jump okay and jump one it means this one monkey and this button for jump two for second monkey okay now click on this label and just remove the text and just type here score fine now click on this horizontal arrangement and make this top to center or align horizontal should be center and change this background color to some black like this Click on the score and change this text color to white and make it font size at least 25. Yeah. Now click on jump and change this background color also. So I'm going to make this background color to green or something. Okay. You can change any color. That that's depend totally depend on you, right? That's our design, right? Now change this font size also so it's look pretty well. Yeah, jump one and make sure this should be also look like this. So white, make it background color, custom, copy paste this color, 
like this make it font fold and make it font size 16 you can just copy and paste button also right now you can see there's no gap in between this score and button click on this score level and make this with this you know some percentage like 30 so this one will look fine and make this tax align to center now this one is looking pretty cool right now that's our design section right now let me just click on this horizontal arrangement vertical horizontal arrangement this one and make it visible off but let me just uh one thing i have to do there like make it visible off and make it this one should be visible off right now last screen uh let me just drag and drop one more layout and that one is for our game over right fill parent make this one height is also fill parent like this and that one is our game over right so i'm going to drag and drop one button and one label to display as a game over and that one is restart button okay game over and click on this button and make this one restart right click on vertical arrangement and make this stop center align should be also center like this you can change this color you can change it to as a background color right so you can do anything like that. let me just check yeah that's fine game over should be something 30 or 40 and you can make this background color also change so let me just game over yeah and let's restart button color should be something green or orange and make this font size at least 18 and that's fine right now you can click on restart button to restart your game so finally we have completed our design section right so let me just visible off make it make it horizontal it should be on no and vertical element should be on yes so that's our first screen right so tomorrow we will learn how we can code for this game okay this video is going too long that's why okay so we will learn tomorrow how we can code for all these screens okay so please Subscribe my channel, like this video, share this video. Have a nice day, be safe and let me know if you have some more amazing ideas about this app then I will definitely try to implement on this app, on this game. Okay, bye bye.